One of the things that we like to do in a 3D studio is an active engagement of materials to tell stories through art and technology. A few years ago, we sort of created the uh, Light Squad, and I think that we've created a really wonderful framework that allows people that have an association with the University of Texas in Dallas, that have an association with ATEC and the 3D Studio, to come and work and do projects. And really, not one person could do all of this on their own. It takes the different expertise from each student to put it all together. A lot of these students, I had their freshman year, and they've come so far in the four years, and now they've outsurpassed me with some of their skills. They're teaching me, actually. So this project represents the past, the present, and the future of the city of Richardson. It represents its technological contributions and achievements to the city, but most importantly, it represents its infrastructure and its community. The history of research, development, and innovation here in Richardson has a profound impact on the creative efforts that we engage in. After they got it hung, it, I was blown away. I had to step back. It's just a big exhibit, 100 feet of wall space being utilized. My favorite part so far has been just seeing the elements being placed on the wall and seeing how it all comes together after all the planning and all the brainstorming with it. It has pushed my arts to different limits. This has been a wonderful opportunity. I have to give a big thank you to Chuck and Ann Eisenman for their generous support and be able to be displayed and shared with the community at a place like the Eisenman Center. I think that's a profound circle that we've created.